today we will learn iot fault detection system through smoke code so first we will download smoke code then open it in the right hand side we will uh, see three bars we will click on it then project select new don't leave blank space in project name instead use uh, underscore so we will uh, type fault underscore detection underscore system then click on select project bring the cursor on the screen and right click a drop down menu will pop up in the search bar search for on interval and select it move the on interval node using cursor repeat the same steps and search for mpu 6050 read node move the node and connect the two nodes double click on mpu node and click on the pencil icon put 22 in the scl pin box and 21 in sda pin box and click add then click done right click on the screen and search for if node and connect it with mpu 6050 read node double click on the if node and select excel underscore y in the condition box and select done look for set value node from the sidebar and move it to the screen using cursor and connect it with if node double click on set value node and instead of var type excel underscore y and click on done again right click on the screen and search for display node and connect it with set value node now double click on display node and write no shock in the text box and click on done now repeat the steps for another set value node only instead of 0 enter 10 click on done now repeat the steps for another display node and write shock in the text box and click on done now save the project by clicking the save icon on the top bar then click on the bar icon and go to the device port as we can see no device is connected now we connect the usb wire that is connected to our esp32 to our laptop and now check the device port you will see that the usb wire is connected and then click on your port again save the code and verify the code now our code is verified and it is been uploaded in our esp32 let's look at the components that we require jumper wires breadboard mpu6050 this is the circuit diagram of project as we can observe mpu6050 is connected to esp32 using jumper wires to view our result click on the serial display icon present on top bar a serial display window will pop up which will show us the result of our project as seen in the video on disturbing the mpu6050 the result show us shock on the serial display and when mpu6050 is not disturbed it shows no shock on the serial display instead of showing the results on the laptop screen if you want to use lcd display to show the results you can do that as well i have attached the link in the description box where you will find the circuit diagram of both the projects